today we are going to make a security alarm system with the uh, minimum configuration and uh, or security alarm system based on this PIR sensor uh, the PIR sensor detects any motion and uh, this microcontroller will instruct the GSM modem to send the SMS and make a call for the alarming situation and uh, for that we have developed a uh, schematic diagram and uh, uh, we have developed a PCB also and uh, here it is the PCB which we have developed and uh, we place these all components on this board and uh, let's see how it works and uh, in the alarming situation uh, there, there are the provision of the hooter which will start buzzing in the alarming situation and uh, we have also placed a uh, relay switch to make some lights on etc Here we have made a JSON based security alarm system and uh, for that we have developed a PCB and uh, on this PCB we have connected a microcontroller board and uh, a relay and some other uh, devices and uh, it works on SMS based and uh, for that we have connected a GSM module. Uh, in uh, condition of threat it will start booting for that we have add a router and uh, it will own the light so we have connected a light temporary over there for the demo and uh, uh, this security alarm system will detect the motion by using this motion detector and uh, uh, when we arm this security alarm system and uh, after that if any motion detected by the motion detector it will send the information to this microcontroller and rest it will control the things it will send a security threat message and uh, it will start router and lights and after that uh, we can make some provision for the security uh, and uh, we can unarm this security system by sending simply an sms and let's see how it works practically here we are going to test our SMS based security alarm system and uh, for that we have arranged it uh, over there and uh, this PIR sensor is arranged like that it will not sense me at least and uh, while doing this uh, testing it will not start buzzing in my presence and if anybody comes in front of this area in front of this uh, PIR sensor then it will start alarming and uh, to activate this security alarm system we have to send a command to our security alarm system through the SMS and it is armed when we will send this command arm to our security alarm system a single beep will indicate that the security alarm is activated and after that if anybody comes in front of PIR sensor uh, it will start buzzing the security alarm system also send a return message to indicate that this security alarm system is being activated so first of all we will send an uh, arm message to our security alarm system and uh, let's see how it works it will give a single beep to indicate that the alarm system is activated now this indicate that the alarm system is being activated and now if anybody comes in front of this PIR sensor it will start working and uh, if anybody comes any threat will be there and it will start working and, uh, and uh, you may see uh, this scooter will start buzzing and it will also send an SMS the security alarm system 
will call us and send the SMS uh, to indicate the threatening condition. So uh, it will keep working for five minutes. Uh, if we want to stop it earlier, we will send an unarmed command to our security alarm system. So we will send an unarm command, unarm command to our security alarm system to stop working and uh, two beeps will indicate that that uh, uh, it has been received our command and uh, it is going to be unarmed. So let's see if two beeps comes. Now this this is up and uh, this alarm system stop because of the SMS and uh, the security alarm system also send a return SMS that uh, the security alarm system is unarmed as well as some other facilities also, also there that anytime we can check the status uh, status of our security alarm system and if we send any garbage message to our security alarm system it will uh, recognize the garbage message and uh, uh, it will send a correct message list what we are to send so if we send a garbage message uh, it will return a message that what we are to send actually so in return message it will send the list of commands what we are be able to send to this security alarm system for working now you can see here's the list uh, the security alarm system has sent that what command we can be able to give to the security alarm system if we can if you give the status command sta if you send the status command then it will tell us the current status of the security lab system that what is the current status so uh, a return message will be there and uh, will indicate the current status so in this way our security alarm system works thanks for watching